Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at Lenovo's CES booth, and I'm here speaking with uh, Steven. Hey guys, how you doing? I've got three or four really exciting products to show you, and in my opinion, I'm starting with the best one first. This is something I use and I think is very, very productive as well. We're trying to solve two problems. Most everybody that I know has two monitors at work, but you don't have two monitors at Starbucks and you don't have two on your couch. Also, you may have just gotten a new computer last year, but you want to you want to use your Windows 8 upgrade, you want to have that experience, but you don't have a touch PC, and Windows 8 is great, but it's got to have touch. So we solved that with our wireless touch monitor. So I actually carry the version now that's not touch, but I've just got my carbon touch, so I will need this. So it's a 1.6 pound, super thin monitor, USB 3, but this solves my touch situation. If I drop over an 8, you see I have complete control of my PC from here. I can make it in du duplicate mode or extended mode. It's just a second monitor. So for 1.6 pounds and $349, you can have dual monitors anywhere you go. Showing it here with the hard case, it also comes with an optional soft case. Um, so we're solving both problems here, the second monitor and a way to do touch, even if you don't have touch. We want to take it one more step, though, and make that into a wireless solution. So the only thing I have plugged in here is my power cord. If I lose my power cord, all of a sudden you see here now for 2.4 pounds, I've just added a battery pack and Wi-Fi. Now everybody asks me, is this Lenovo specific? No. All you need are drivers, any Windows PC, to let the PC know this USB port is not storage, but a, but a monitor. Same thing over here, the same driver, then a little piece of software to turn it on as a monitor and let them link up with wireless. We didn't want to do Wi-Di because it eliminates so many PCs, so we want to do Wi-Fi. So if you have a PC with Wi-Fi this as big as your connection, you see here, wirelessly, I have control of my monitor, of my PC over here. Think about this in a sales situation and a business situation where you hand this around to different clients. Also think of it as a zero client. So I don't have any data here. So if I'm in a secure environment like a hospital, my secure, my secure PC can stay anywhere and I can walk around my entire Wi-Fi network with just the monitor and have complete control of the PC and all my data secure. Now the PC that I'm featuring that on is actually is touch monitor. This is the thinnest business class Ultrabook in the market that's touch. Actually, it's the thinnest Ultrabook that's not touch as well, but that's the X1 Carbon. This happens to be the touch version. So it's 20 millimeters and just over three pounds. You can see how unbelievably thin and light this guy is, and this is touch. So this is brand new to the market. In fact, I just got mine on a Tuesday. Um, so they just now started shipping, and I just moved off to the Carbon. So it is um, the thinnest business class Ultrabook out there, 20 millimeters. It's really, really cool. Now the other challenge we want to fix is the push to convertibles. Everyone wants to have that convertible situation, but there's so many different limitations. So how do we avoid those limitations? We did that with our Helix. So we understand that the smallest situation you can have, or smallest screen you can have, and have a full keyboard, it's 11.6 inches. So this is 11.6 inch PC. Now it's full HD, so this is a 1900 by 1300 screen, so it's a really beautiful screen. Also has a built-in digitizer. I've got a pen here. I forgot to mention that over on my touch monitors. I have the same pen built in, so if you forgive me for forgetting that, I have a built-in digitizer on both of those monitors as well. Same one here. Now this is just a regular PC, you think, until I click. The entire iCore, excuse me, Core i processor is in here. Everyone always asks, is this Clover Trail? No, there's nothing wrong with Clover Trail. I have Clover Trail here on my tablet too. So this is a 10 inch, 10 millimeter, 10 battery hour Clover Trail tablet. Full Windows experience, but Clover Trail. Well, this is Core i. Nothing wrong with Clover Trail, but if you really need the full power PC, this is a Core i processor. Now, what makes Helix really special is not just the ability to pop it off, but also to put it back on if I want the battery life, I still have all of that battery life. Now, the other cool things is, when I plug back in, the base has five hours of battery, and it will push its battery up. So if I put this into my briefcase and change rooms, the battery in the base is going to top back off the battery up in the tablet. So I can use it as a tablet, I can use it as a conventional notebook PC, and I can use it as a extended battery life. So that's the ThinkPad Helix. I'm very excited about that product. Do you know what the uh, uh, i5 pro or i processor it will be? Um, no, but I can find out. But I find how me finish talking if I sure, start with sure. Tom. So, uh, and then I've already told you about the tablet too on the Clover Trail platform. Just just now started shipping as well. So we announced this with Windows 8, and it just started shipping. Full range is a dock. 
different pads, a Bluetooth keyboard, really targeted this to the business type customer. Now, for a smaller business, we have a new Edge platform. And what we wanted to capitalize here on is, um, with the touch situation, people have been asking for more room for their touchpad because you have all the gestures that happen down here. Well, you have buttons in the way on almost all touchpads. So what we've done is make this a five button, five button um, touchpad. So one, two, three, four, and then a scroll for five. So the other great thing that we did here is our one link display. You can stay here, I'll show you. One of the things about the Edge series is that it's, it's not been based on um, docking. And so now we've added a dock to it. It's called the One Link. So you have not only USB 3, but our power connector. So you don't have to have the dock. It just plugs in the regular power. But now for one plug, you can have docking. So this pulls video, this pulls network, this pulls USB 3.0, everything through this. It's available in three different colors. It's available in red that I have here, a black and a silver and the docks all match that. And then we have a, the touch experience mouse. To me, this looks like a river stone. I wanna have it, I don't even use a mouse that much, but I wanna have it because it looks cool. So the touch gestures work on the surface of this mouse. So it clicks like you would expect it to click, but all the Windows 8 touch gestures work on the mouse as well. Our final product is the Yoga 11. This was targeted at the consumer market. Last year's big winner, we had 17 awards for Yoga 13 at last CES. And so this is a 13.3 inch screen, and this is amazing at you know, just under four pounds last year, but you know, that's not so light this year. So now we have it in the 11.6 inch. So this is the Yoga 11. We already have this introduced in RT. Our only RT product is this platform, but now this is Core i, core i processor, so i5, i3, i7. So look at this, so it's yoga, all the things you expect from yoga. So the reason we call it yoga, if you don't know, it does all the different yoga positions that you may want to use a tablet PC in. So you'll see it switch in just a second. So this is the Yoga 11 that we just started. Oh, you know, I, have, I said this was the last thing. Last night I just got mobbed. We were at an event called the Showstoppers and I felt like a, a, a rock star because paparazzi was around. We unveiled for the very first time at seven o'clock and it came off of embargo the very first Intel Inside Clover Trail phone. So this is a two gigahertz dual core Clover Trail phone. Um, I wish you could feel this thing on camera. It's so unbelievably light. It is 6.9 millimeters. Um, it is five, very light. 5.5 inch screen. And we have Gorilla Glass 2.0 and um, a low magnetic magnesium cover so that it won't interfere with wireless connectivity and really a plethora there's four different right now four different back covers so um, we're determined on the os and the pricing i don't have pricing on this and availability we're just showing just how amazingly thin and light we can do a intel based phone so i'm very excited about that that's the k900 and we're right now we're a dominant player in the chinese market and we're in five different countries for our phones but but everything else we talked about is a U.S. based product. So that's Stephen Miller here with the Yoga 11, the Edge Series, the Helix. My favorite thing in the room was the wireless touch monitor. Cool. Thank you, Stephen. Yes, sir.